Dehydration, heat, and chemotherapy could offer a knockout punch for peritoneal cancer. When cancer spreads to the peritoneal cavity, where the stomach and intestines are located, the prognosis is typically poor. In many cases, peritoneal cancer is discovered at an advanced stage and survival rates can be as low as 3 months. Such cancers appear as many tiny nodules on the outside of organs in the cavity, making surgical removal difficult. One option is to introduce chemotherapy drugs directly into the cavity where they can bathe the outside of the organs. Heating the fluid containing the drug to approximately 43 degrees Celsius has been shown to improve effectiveness in killing the cancer. However, even with these enhancements, the treatment only helps a small proportion of patients there is a clear need for more effective therapies. Professor Agata Mikowajczyk Martinez of the Wrocław University of Environmental and Life Sciences and her colleagues have explored an advanced treatment system that incorporates a third offensive arm, dehydration. Dehydrating the peritoneal cavity using a hair dryer style attachment on a medical device could enhance the effects of the heated chemotherapy treatment. Professor Mikowajczyk Martinez and her colleagues tested the approach using colorectal cancer cells in well plates. They introduced chemotherapy drugs into the liquid that was bathing the cells and incubated the well plates at 37 degrees. The team then tested partial dehydration by removing the liquid and allowing the cells to dry out a little over 30 minutes at 45 degrees. They tested different chemotherapy drugs including oxaliplatin and doxorubicin and also investigated whether the order in which the treatments were delivered affected the outcome. The team found that cells subjected to dehydration alone had a viability of 65%, oxaliplatin alone resulted in 61% viability, and oxaliplatin plus dehydration plus heating resulted in 60% viability. Strikingly, by reversing the order of the treatment so that the cells experienced dehydration and heating before oxaliplatin treatment, the viability was reduced to 48%. When the researchers repeated the experiments with multiple rounds of treatment to mimic what might occur in a human patient, the triple therapy proved to be far more effective than any of the individual treatments. Interestingly, cells that had been subjected to dehydration appeared to absorb more of the chemotherapy drugs, which may underlie the synergistic effects of triple therapy. The team's results suggest that including dehydration in the cancer treatment protocol could help to enhance treatment effectiveness. Their discoveries could pave the way for more effective treatments of peritoneal metastasis. Thank you.